What's up everybody, welcome back This is probably going to be a short one, I don't know <clears throat> But we're out here in Tulsa, Arizona Tulsa? Uh, out here in Arizona Um I delivered, I picked up this morning And I delivered this morning Um I do have another load But I already dropped the trailer off at the pickup location down the street to Hillshire, but loads not ready yet. So ended up coming to the pilot just for the student. I'm parked over here real quick at the in the reserved area because there's plenty of reserved parking spots. And I don't want to be one of them drivers that take over a full spot, even though I don't have a trailer. So I came over here and it, there is parking over there, but that's reserved parking also. But I'm, I'm on my way to Cali. Only reason why, the main reason why I'm going to Cali is I'm going to drop this student off. The student that I picked up... What was it? Friday? Thursday? I think it was Thursday I picked him up. Last week. Um, he wants to get off my truck. So... Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Um, one thing about me, like I tell everybody, I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to hold your hand. We're going to go through it. You're going to show me what you can do. I'm going to let you know what you're doing wrong. And then we're slowly going to gradually go from there off of your learning curve. Now... If you want to come out here and say, oh, I want to do this and I want to learn it, but you don't show me that you want to learn it, well, that doesn't help you. And I'm going to stick you to it to where show me. And that's how I am. Show me. You're out here? Show me what you could do. Just off of a little basic understanding of what we went through for the past couple of days, you should be able to have an idea of the basic of what we're doing if you're driving and you know we're going to our delivery and you get there and you don't know why we're there then you're not paying attention to what you're doing you're just driving um he actually told me this morning at six o'clock when i was trying to get to my pickup that he wanted to get out the truck well, I told him I was like, just go back. Why the hell are you backing up so fast? Just go back to bed, and I'm doing a local delivery, and I could drop you off afterwards. So I told him I was like, wait, I called rep. I can't even talk. <clears throat> I called driver development, let them know. So. I told I asked dispatch to give me a little going to Cali so I could just try to get another student. So this is the second student. The first student he at least finished his whole 200 hours I think, but he quit. It wasn't for him. This one, he just I, I guess he thinks it's gonna be easier on someone else's truck. And I told him I was like, it all depends on the mentor. Because you can get a mentor that won't teach you anything and pass you. And if that's what you want and you get that, great for you. But it's not going to work out in the long run. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I'm just blabbing on right now. I um, haven't been feeling great the past week. Feeling better, a whole lot better now. But yeah. And I need to get a new charger cord for my go for the GoPro and that's the other reason why I haven't really been recording too but with that being said we're gonna 
get off here. I'm going to wait for this load. I only came here for the student so he could grab something to eat, grab something to drink or whatever. Because I wanted to go and just sit at my pickup and wait until the load's ready. The load delivers at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow in Compton. So... Yeah. But with that being said, we'll see you guys later or on the next one. Remember, you come out here, it's not fun and games. You don't get to just sit here and hold the steering wheel. It's a lot more than that. Just remember why you come out here. Morning, everybody. Um, it is the next day and it is going on six o'clock it's 5 50 right now um, we got here about 5 20 um, I got up about 3 30 3 40 um, started the truck pre-tripped it left the yard about four and now we're here at a delivery at the Rouse, as you can see in the mirror. Um, this location I don't really like to come to for the simple fact is, um, I'll show you. There's that wall right there alongside where that box truck is coming out of. Yeah. And there's doors right there. Well, on the other side, that little building that section is not fun backing into. Because a lot of times, depending on the type of truck you're in, the way people are parked and all that good stuff, you might not make it into the spot without someone having to discon disconnect from their trailer. But, <clears throat> as you can see, students off the truck, we got to Harupa last night about 11 30 12 o'clock and i just decided to park at the yard and get up early and that's what i did so um that being said we're just gonna have to sit and wait until i get unloaded see what they say um yeah other than that that's pretty much it i don't know what i'm doing right now after this load and I'm waiting for them to call me so I can get into a door. I want to get into a door before a lot of trucks start showing up. But I believe I'm delivering on the other side, though. So I won't have to worry about that wall. But we'll find out. Um, I'm just going to go back there and relax. And then we'll just find out and see what happens after the delivery and then see if we get a student or not but other than that that's pretty much it that's all I got for right now hasn't really been much going on so that being said see you guys on the next one